Hi, my name is Dennis Kraft, and I'm one of the judges with the Professional Photographers of America. Recently, we held our international competition in Atlanta, Georgia. You entered an image titled Snow Bunny Home. Cute title. Uh, it scored a 73 in the average category, and it's my privilege today to critique the image for you. Um, looks to me by the case number that you're not yet a master photographer. So I wish you well on that journey. And if there's anything I can do in the future to help you along that journey, uh, please reach out. I'd be more than happy to. So let's get into it, talk about the image, see what maybe the judges were looking at, why they placed a score of 73 on it in the average category, and what we could do in the future to um, score a few more points with images like this or even this particular image itself. So let's get started and look right at the image. All right, I like to bring it up a little bit closer so I can see things. So first and foremost, let's talk about what's good in the image and then what we can do to improve it after we talk about the, the strengths of it first. Uh, first, great subject. Um, animals seem to do well in image competition. Uh, so that's a plus for you. So picking an animal, um, I think, can ever hurt you. Um, I, I like the presentation in regards to how it complements the image itself. We're going to talk about the presentation, but I do like it, okay? Um, I like the color tones throughout. I like this. So I like the subject matter, and I like the, the, the matting of the image. So uh, let's now start talking about some of the things that... Those are strengths, and those are things we can work upon. So let's talk about some of the other areas within the image of why possibly it ends up in the average category and not any higher. So we start off with a bunny and yet, and then we didn't show the whole bunny and I'm not sure why we did not quite a head and shoulder portrait of the bunny. We showed two thirds of the bunny, but not all of the bunny. So I think either we gotta go any closer to the bunny and do a head and shoulder portrait or we need to show them all on whatever he's sitting upon. And either way, I, I think that that would help. And I think we could use a little bit more room around the bunny also, which means he's awful tight within our frame, and I would like to see a little bit more room around him, if, if that's possible. Then I'm looking at some of the, uh, then I look at an exposure uh, of, the, of the file itself, and I'm losing the bunny down in here into where it's coming in, what he's sitting on, and there's not a lot of texture back in the fur. So I wanna go back and see if there's more information in this file, um, or we need to expose it differently so that that fur and texture is there. If you also captured this in raw, go back and reprocess that so that that texture in the fur itself comes through in the final, final image itself that whole bunny can come down in tonal range and still be white, I think. Um, and, and then what I said is I like the mat, I like the colored tones of the mat, but the mat is so massive, the mat is so strong in regards to our small little bunny that we've given. And I think that that, that could be uh, less dominant, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, not maybe three inches, but maybe an inch around the bunny and give us more of the bunny, less of the mat, I guess I'm saying. More of the, more of the bunny, less of the mat. And then I, the texture that is on your mat, if I had that type of a texture throughout the background behind the bunny, I think that would be absolutely phenomenal. And if that tonal range ran from the top all the way to what the bunny was sitting on, and then you complemented that with the mat, then, then I think we're talking. The bunny's going to... The bunny is going to hop off from that lighter color with that texture in it as opposed to sitting on white and then blending into that white. So if you had that all the way down and then coming underneath the bunny and then showed the bunny at full length, I think that you're going to get a lot closer to what you want. And then my final comment is if I, as I brought that up and I take it back a little bit, um, I'd like the depth of field to be a little bit better so that this back ear could be totally in focus also. Those are just little things that I'm seeing that, that probably have held it in that average category. Need to see less of the bunny, more of the bunny. That's a choice you gotta make. Um, less of the mat, 
more of the bunny, uh, more detail within the bunny. Those are things that, that uh, I think the judges need to see before they reward this type of an image with a merit. But it's a great start, and I, and I commend you on that. And I, I do think that you're headed in the right direction. So if I can help you in the future in any way, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to any way I can. At the close of this, I'd like to invite you to the, uh, our international convention coming up in January in Nashville. And it's a great time if you've never been there. A lot of things go on during that four days for um, image competition. There's merit cafes. There's uh, seminars going on during the whole time. All free education for image competition. And uh, take advantage of all of that. And again, uh, if I can help, I'll just let reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to help any way I can. So I do wish you the best of luck in the future. And, a, and I thank you for allowing me to critique your image today.